two goals in Philadelphia. Top line against top line, and here we go. It is Hockey Fights Cancer Day here at PNC Arena. And now Ajo has an opportunity, and Samsonov just plays the puck. Run into his by his own man. Oh, the Canes almost got a lucky bounce 10 seconds into this one. There's now Ovechkin with the puck. Gets it to his nets off. Go give it up as Natchez has it. This line of Ajo. Terravina to Natchez. Fantastic. In Philly now. Terravina to Ajo. He hits the post. And then a beautiful one-toucher from Ajo. Coming off his red-hot afternoon. See with his eyes he locates. Actually, may have gone off Carlson's stick. And then... Kept in at the point. Where it's Shea. We get the puck. Canadian's across the tail, and in Samsona. Does the splits and makes the save. A huge save by Samsonov, robbing Tara Biden is the reason why this game is scoreless. Looking for an outlet. He's being counted as the puck rolls on Samsonov. And Martinov gets there first and puts the shot right off Samsonov. Martinov shot out of a cannon to get there to beat the icing. So you have a winger doing his job. A defenseman jumping in at the right time that leads to an excellent chance. And here comes Ovechkin. 18 goals on the season. Cruising in the keys and centering it out in front. Chance there by Protus and Anderson with the save. Locates. I mean, you see the coverage of that butterfly for a guy of his size, but then the quickness that complements it. Aside from what he did on the ice, the greatest ambassador our game has ever seen. And you think about it, Mike, Wayne Gretzky hadn't scored a single goal. He'd still be the leading scorer in the history of the National Hockey League. That is the mind-blowing stat. The statistician Lee Taft would tell me if I was saying that wrong for soccer terms. Now a chance out in front is Protus' shot right on Anderson with the save. Rebound attempt is swept wide by Ferravari. Be short-handed. Protus, another great pass from Kuznetsov. He's 6'6", so that makes the save even better because of his reach. can tell if she misses or not. It looks like he misses. I can tell you that's... Less than 12 and a half to go here in the second period. Now that shot trickles across the goal line as it deflected off of Shea as Hagelin was throwing it out in front. Anderson like Jarvis did in Anaheim off of Gibson. Yeah, goes off the back of his glove. And took a Carolina kind of bounce. Very similar to the play that was... Jumps up his pass too far for Lars Eller. And we'll roll back to the point for Orloff. Orloff gets the puck right back. Goes down Main Street to Ovechkin. He scores! A little give and go by the Washington Caps. And finished off by Alexander Ovechkin. His 19th of the season in Washington. Takes a 1-0 lead. Interchange, and then Orloff has a significant step. Anderson's got to respect the shot. Pesci tries to go down to deny a pass, but isn't in the lane. No look pass from Orloff. Russian to Russian here. The desperation from Fox. That's because Nets off. Crossing into the game zone. His shot snapped wide of Anderson's net. He'll be tracked down by Hagelin. Opportunity for the keep in for the Caps. Now he shot to flex off in front by Protus and he'll score. Alexi Protus has just nabbed his first NHL goal in a 2-0 lead for the Capitals. This is just a tough bounce, but again, coming up with a puck on the wall and it goes off of Tony D'Angelo's right skate. Tony's in the right position, boxing out Kuznetsov. And so it is Protus' goal off of D'Angelo's skate and in. What a moment for the Belarusian. Drafted 91st overall. Trying to send it across for Natchez. Terravina got in the way, and McMichael's got a break in on Anderson. Anderson closes the wicket. Big save by Freddie Anderson. Follow up chance by Wilson is handled by Anderson. Well, and I think about partner all the years of attending the, the Jimmy Valvano golf event. Right in front of uh, the table for Carolina in this third period. Never give up. Never give up. It's amazing what you can accomplish. Absolutely. Tries to take the pass from Faust. Sends it down low. Where Sveshnikov has it. Sveshnikov avoids a big hit from Ferrari. Shot kept in from Slavin. Still loose out in front. Samsonov can't see it. And finally it'll be Anglin who will pick up. His nets off. Keeping a watchful eye on D'Angelo. Deflects 
D'Angelo's off the pass, but Carolina is able to work it into the Washington zone. Or Coach Kenny Emmy is going to score! Yes, yes, Barry! Coach Kenny Emmy buries it! 2 1, Carolina's cut the Caps lead in half. In Carolina. Kokaniemi starts what he eventually finishes with a one-chip smart north-south play in the neutral zone. Follows it up. Toe drags it to create just an, enough of a different shooting angle. And then the sniper does the rest. Wow, what a shot. Taking the shears to those locks as well for a great call. Eight years. Gaines. Love to give the fans here in attendance one more thing to cheer about. Svechnikov to stall out in front. Zap Sonoff. Stones. Jordan Stahl. I think there was intent from Dowd, but a scary collision. This is the great A chance. Niftily off the right skate onto the tape from the cap. Plenty of time left here for the Hurricanes. Down the goal. The physical play has been noticeable now. Haglin rings the post. It's Carl Haglin. Was sprung free. An outstanding stop from Samsona. You, you could see from that angle. Pesci to Natchez. Ten seconds left on the power play. Natchez will give the puck away to Eller. And Lars Eller tries to find Haglin, but Natchez intercepts that pass. Carolina back in. Pesci, Natchez in the slot. They score! Nino Niederreiter with the equalizer. 6.28 on the clock in the game. Forces this puck, should have gone deep. Natchez with his right glove. Takes advantage of the turnover. And then a marvelous pass from the goal line. You're thinking, is Natchez going to try his stop move? It wasn't there. Goes to the middle. And for the second time, Kokaniemi first and now Niederreiter. Beats Samson up high to the glove. You see the way that glove hung? Washington will skate it out. Jensen up from his defensive position in on Anderson. And that puck will roll wide and... Jensen's going to draw a penalty, so Washington will be going on the power play here. And draw the penalty. Jarvis, you can see, I'm guessing they're going to call a hold. Carolina penalty number 24, two minutes holding. Yeah, and Anderson makes a save during the delayed sequence, by the way. Carlson will settle down the puck. Bring it around for Kuznetsov. Dovechkin, Jarvis is out of the box, still penalty going on, and Orloff scores. As Jarvis came out of the box, the power play still had 30 seconds left, and Dmitry Orlov, alone in front of Frederick Anderson, has put the Capitals in the lead. 3-2 with 2.55 left in the third. Certainly a monstrous kill on the five-on-three portion. Carolina came close a couple of times to getting the puck out. You see Jarvis coming out, and the pass from Wilson along the goal line. To the pinching defenseman who at times plays like a forward on the power play. Dmitry Orlov and Orlov, you can see his strength. Hammer this into the Washington zone. And giving chase is Aho. Trocek will get to the puck. Back to Aho. They'll leave it for Stahl. Stahl has to race for it. Stahl takes a heavy hit from Dowd along the boards. And Stahl is slow to get up. And then Washington fires it into the empty net. And has extended their lead to 4-2. And you see the shot from long distance. We'll tip into the cane zone. Trocek goes after it. And zeros hit the clock. And the Washington Capitals will skate out of Raleigh with two points as Carolina on the wrong side of a 4-2 score.